This is called, wait for it, the rope. And I want to be clear about something that is, uh, Yes, in answer to your question, which is, has your family made fun of you for walking around with a rope over you? Yes. One to four of my immediate family members has uh, made fun of me for having that rope around my shoulder. I am teaching my kids, the, the twins anyways, the, the, the rope, and they're having a lot of fun with it. Here's, here's, here's why I'm, I'm talking about the rope. I want to talk about flow, and I talked about this in the most recent podcast a little more in depth. You can check that out too, what Sid thinks. I have been researching and reading about the flow state. And the flow state is interesting to me and probably more interesting just because I've been sheltering in and everything, but it's the intentional uh, deep engagement with something that allows you a, a sort of a prolonged experience as a way to counterbalance a lot of the fragmented experiences that we have in today's world via the news flashes, the click baits, the social media, the YouTube videos, the quick, 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 quick. Where's the, you know, in this kind of physical thing, it, it makes me think a lot about trail running, actually. I did a video a long time ago why I love trail running, and I in that video you can watch it. But anyway, uh, it's the meditation of it, the the movement married to having to pay attention, the the in a way forced, but not in a bad way, but forced into attention, into awareness. Uh, the trail running, the the terrain forces you into attention. You can't really let your mind wander too much because you'll fall or get injured or whatever. Same thing with the rope. It is, as I'm learning it, and, and by the way, props to Timothy Sheaf. If you guys don't follow him, he's an incredible guy. Um, he, I found this about this on one of his videos. But anyways, it's the, it's the experience of doing a, a guided movement, an intentional movement, and learning it enough to where you can, and I'm, I've seen glimpses of this, but I'm not quite there yet on this, but it's conscious movement patterns of movement and then allowing you to eventually get to where you're kind of doing it, paying attention, but also not at the same time and being able to hang with that for a while. As I said, the flow state's interesting to me as a counterbalance to how fragmented our brains have become in the modern world mind too and how we're losing, I believe as a culture, our ability to focus long-term on things, to get into the deep work of things, to, to hang with in solitude long enough in quiet long enough and as it relates to how i work with people is is just that can you you know i'm working with people to to bring in new habits and stick with them long enough to where they see the benefits of those things but certainly things like journaling even meditation which for me is movement related but if it's just sitting on a pillow for you fine but um the the thinking that goes into this and having being able to stick with something long enough, I think is a dying art. And the reason why the rope was so interesting to me was simply because, first of all, I could do it at home. So during the shelter in when I wasn't running on trails, it was something I picked up at home, took a course on it and, and learned the movement of it. A guy named David Weck is the founder of, of the rope uh, process. Uh, so I took his course. And um, anyway, so very interesting stuff. I wanted to talk about it today in this video because the flow state is something that I think is worthwhile looking into if you are in the world of trying to get back some control, some, some attachment, engagement, and awareness in your life. This is one of the many tools. Obviously, regular exercise is too. It's one of the reasons why when I run on trails, 99.9% .9 of the time, I don't wear headphones. I'm not listening to a podcast or something. I'm, I'm with myself because it's harder than you think to be with yourself quiet for more than two minutes. And when you go for an hour run, 
um, it's, 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 it's something that I had to train myself to do. And ultimately, and I'll finish this video with this thought, this is training. To be happy and healthy, especially in the world today, where we're having to make the decisions about our health and happiness, we cannot go on autopilot, we cannot walk into a market or a restaurant and just go with what we feel like because we're gonna be attracted to the least healthy food because it's engineered to freaking blow our heads up. It is mental training, it is mental toughness. It is engaging in activities that reinforce our ability to stick with something long enough, to be with our own thoughts long enough, that allows us to be attached to our lives in a way that I believe gives us the strength and discipline without having to you know, beat ourselves up, but the strength and discipline to lead healthy, happy, vibrant lives. That's what this rope has is doing. It's one of the things. But anyways, give it a shot if you want, whatever. But movement married to quiet, to attention, I think is something to be reckoned with.